question of the day. What simple series titles do you have in your collection? Answer to have your comments featured at the end of the next video. The Simple Series is a collection of games by volume from Japanese game publisher D3. You may not even know it, but chances are you've played a Simple Series entry. They're all budget games categorized by shelf price, and some notable titles are Onichan Bara, Splatter Master, The Fair Yujigoku, and uh, <laughs> Street Golfer. Okay. Understandably, there's a lot of weird and obscure stuff in the series across every platform but there are also some really standout titles. Today, I'm gonna take a look at Deadhead Fred, or as it's known in Japan, the Hanto Niyatama Osukao Action Deadhead Fred. You know, with a name like that, I'm surprised this game didn't become a raging success. Very much like the Resident Evil prototype, there wasn't a hell of a lot of this game that I got to see. Not like the Resident Evil prototype, I didn't get to see stuff in this game because this game is bullshit. I'm gonna go through a play-by-play -play of my time spent with the game, just to give you a feel of how terrible this experience was for me. Granted, the whole thing wasn't terrible, so I am gonna talk about the few things that I enjoyed, but I didn't get very far, and there are not that many. So let's not put this off any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Deadhead Fred. The game begins, and the first thing that you might notice is that Fred is a fucking brain in a jar. Automatically a winner in my book, 10 out of 10 protagonist of the year, somebody call the game awards. <laughs> this butt for a face is Dr. Steiner. He's been experimenting on our clueless deadhead Fred, but that's all interrupted when the Godfather and a mobster with really questionable muscle distribution kidnap Dr. Steiner forcing Fred to find his way out of the lab and start his search. There's a lot of really stylized horror stuff going on with the graphics here. Some stuff is typical Evil Mansion stuff, some stuff is gory, some stuff is downright meme material, and all of it's fun to look at. Really, I would never got tired of running around and exploring, until I really got tired of running around and exploring. But we'll get to that in a minute. The first section of gameplay here is a tutorial, which is a nice segue for talking about how gameplay works. First, we're taught the almighty art of punching stuff. This game is an action beat-em-up with all of the beating up and what I suppose qualifies for action. This next bit of tutorial section is platforming. In any normal game, platforming is the finely crafted art of jumping over a hole. In this case, platforming is an unnecessarily hard bit of gibberish made difficult by a low sitting camera and really bad walking sensitivity. To add the perfect insult to a fresh injury, the first time I fell down here, I got stuck until I accidentally jumped on a bit of debris and found the pathway back up. I got more used to this as time went on, but that's no excuse for the 10 minutes spent jumping around like Tigger dropped acid on a bad day. The tutorial also teaches us about the head swapping mechanic, which by far, best part of the game. Fred can switch his heads to different ones necessary for numerous world interactions like filling a car with gasoline or surviving in water. The undead head can use alcohol or gasoline to breathe fire in combat or use water to put out fire covering areas. Fred can change heads while moving in a pinch as well and the whole head switching thing really just steals the show away from everything else in the game. So after this tutorial section you're left to explore some more of the opening mansion area. It's pretty easy to get around and it has some fun moments, but this is an area where you get to see a lot of the larger problems in the game right from the get-go. The whole thing feels like it missed a few polishing sessions and it's stupidly easy to die. Combat is repetitive, but that can be hard to keep up with when there's multiple enemies on screen. Everything mercilessly bombards you and combat isn't nearly fluid enough to mass up a crowd. I got better at it, but it came down to exact timing and sometimes commands don't register right away, so exact timing was only good enough when I was lucky enough to do it. Needless to say, I didn't play this game for very long. My first hour was spent running in circles around this first area until I found a switch that I'd neglected to activate. Instead, I passed through the gallery a dozen or more times until I found it, and even after that, there was more time spent brainlessly running around until I finally activated a switch on a podium, which led me to the graveyard. Yeah, that was all confusing for me too. Here, I met an Oompa Loompa, Quasimodo looking guy who tells me that he can help me, so how does he do that? He takes my heads and he breaks them. 
Following this is a combat segment that I guess qualifies as a boss fight if you're feeling lenient that day. It was really only attack five zombies and tear their heads off until you win, but even that was a pain in the ass. I died so many times trying to just kill some basic enemies, and the game shouldn't be like that. I'm sorry, no beat em up should make it hard for you to just punch dudes. But I pressed on. I battled the enormous army of five zombies. The evil chick controlling the zombies right here calls herself Juju Judy. And now is a good time to talk about the writing and the audio. You can save the pleasantries, Doctor. I think you might have some idea why we're here. This game gives us a lovely dose of terribly written cutscenes, terribly written dialogue, terribly written characters, and just terrible things overall. But the music is good, and the voice acting is good, so I guess I can excuse the terrible things. It's really funny to listen to. Nope. Tell you the truth, Doc, my brain feels like I've been on a two-week bender. Everything's kind of hazy. Not terribly surprising, really. Fairly common side effects. What with you being dead and all. Uh, just a damn minute, Doc. Just, just, just stop. Stop. What do you mean dead? About about two seconds before I rip off your head and make us identical twins. Now where is my friggin' head? Fred is an ex-detective and sarcastic despite being dead as shit and lost in some scientist's wet dream. Much like my own writing, though, it seems to try way too hard to be funny more often than not, and Fred's just an asshole half of the time. Even, even the people you run into are assholes. Everyone's an asshole. After defeating Judy and the zombies, I made my way to the next section of the game, Dark Hollow. And it's here where I... Damn it, okay, so instead I should probably... Damn it, okay, I just head to the... Oh, come on, what the hell? What the hell do I do here? I spent 20 minutes dying in the water, trying to cross this gap, but honestly, I have more important things to do. Now, I can't exactly give this game a rating because I didn't finish it, but it's alright. If you feel you want to, go ahead and give it a look. It's nothing I'd write home about. I mean, I didn't get too far in, like I said, but half of my time was spent dying and the other half was spent running around like an idiot, but other than that, the game looks good, sounds good, and makes some funny cracks every now and again. I guess the jokes kind of contribute to the game's charm overall, but charm doesn't make a game a better game. I mean, maybe I'm wrong about this, maybe the game gets better halfway through, but I got tired of dying 10,000 times just at the beginning, so I can't put up with it. With all of that said though, thank you so much for watching. Uh, welcome back to the end slate. There's a Discord and a Twitter and a subscribe button if you feel so inclined. There's also more content coming out soon, so the bell icon might be useful if you're new here. Uh, I really don't have a whole hell of a lot to say other than same time next week. I hope this video was a couple of days late, and I don't intend to do that again. But uh, thank you, and good goodbye now.